Hi, welcome to my video on the products of Tangent, Tangent and Seek It. The previous proof we did the product of secants, and this is very, very similar when we have a tangent. In this circle, it says that AB is tangent at B. So AB is tangent at B, so B is the point of tangency. Prove that AB squared equals AF times AC. So AB squared equals AF times AC. Here, this is a secant, so notice this is outside times all. But because this is a tangent, the tangent is outside and all of it is outside. So that's why we have an AB squared. But if we go backwards here, where is this coming from? So AB squared is AB times AB. Okay, and that comes from AB is coming from a cross product. So it's AB top and bottom, AF times AC. So this product here is, comes from this proportion, and this proportion is C. We have A going with A, so triangle A, B, C is similar, so A goes with A, so B goes with F, and C goes with B. So I need to get these two triangles similar. So that means that we need triangles, so we have to join B to C, and we have to join B and F. So number one, we're going to join BC and BF, and that's a construction. Again, we can draw a segment between any two points. Notice now that we have A goes with A. A is right here. So, if you take if I draw two different triangles, uh, allow me to draw two different triangles here now, just to make sure so we can keep it. So let's draw the triangle A, B, C. A, B, C is this triangle. And then we'll draw the triangle uh, B, F, A. B, F, A. And let's see, there it is. So we have A going with A, right there. And B is going with F, and C is going with A. B is going with F, and the C is going with, the C is going with the B. So we need, notice that A is common in both triangles. So we have angle A is equal to angle A. That's a, a that's a common angle in each triangle. A common angle. Number three. We now we have angle a triangle. We have this. We need uh, one other angle. Well, if you notice that this angle at C here is equal to this angle here at B. So A, B, F, A, B, right here, just, just taking this triangle. A, B, F, which is this angle, that's the angle formed by the tangent and the chord, is equal to the angle A, B, F, angle in this one, A, B, F. So A, B, F is equal to A, C, B. So these two angles. And the reason, angle A, C, B is equal to angle A, B, F. That's because 
both of them are inscribed. Oh, I was going to say both of them are inscribed, and one is inscribed and one is not. That's the angle. Uh, it's called a tangent chord property. The angle formed by the tangent and the chord, which is this angle right here, is equal to the inscribed angle subtended by the chord. So that's tangent chord property. Again, the angle formed by the tangent and the chord here is equal to the inscribed angle subtended by the chord BF. So this angle BCF is subtended or is cutting off the same arc. And this inscribed angle, this angle between the tangent and the chord is cutting off the arc BF. And so this inscribed angle is also cutting off this arc BF. So these two angles are equal by what they call tangent chord property. So that gives us a pair of triangles. The triangles are A, B, C, and I got it right here, similar to A, F, B. And that's called the A, A similarity. Two pairs of angles in one triangle congruent to two pairs of angles in another, then the triangles are similar. So number five, then we can write this down. AB over AF equals AC over AB. And that's corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional. And as a result of that, we have AB times AB, make an X for times, equals AF times AC. And that's the property of proportions. And just as, so AB times AB is the same as AB being squared. And that's just the, the multiplication property. Multiplication property of equality. We're renaming. You can call it renaming. AB times AB is the same as AB squared. So this is the same as before in that outside times all equals outside, that's what I do. The outside is AB, all of it is AB, so that's AB squared. The outside is AF times all of it AC. Same as the two secants, oh, this is a secant and a tangent. And to go over, the, go over that property, we have a diagram here that says AQ is tangent, sorry, PQ, where you get AQ. PQ is tangent right here at P. Find the value of X. So again, outside times all. Outside times all, just the way I think about it. So the outside, let's take this one with the X. Outside is 3, all of it is x add on 3. And right here, we have outside is 6 times all of it, which is 6. So that's where we get the square. So 3x plus 9 equals 6 squared, which is 36. So 3x is 36 minus 9. 3x is 27. x equals 9. So the value of x is 9. So let's put a 9 back in here and check it. Outside is 3. All of it, th 9 plus 3 is 12. And all of it, outside is 6, times all of it, which is 6. So 36 equals 36. True. So 9 is the correct answer.
and let's continue. And we have another one to solve. T is the point of tangency. That means HT is tangent to the circle at T. Uh, find the value of X. And we have a secant and a tangent. So outside times all equals outside times all. And in relation to outside here, outside is X. All of it is X. And in this one, this secant here, outside is 4. All of it is 4 plus 21. So X times X is X squared. 4 times 25. X squared equals 100. X is plus or minus the square root of 100. X is plus or minus 10. And X can't be negative. So X has to be 10. And let's see. 10 is here. Outside is 10. All of it is 10. So 10 squared is 100. 4 times 25 is 100. So 10 is the right answer for this problem. Now we have another one to do. This one made up a little bit, tiny bit different. It says that PA is tangent at A. PC is 5. The arc ACB is 100. The arc ACB is 180 degrees. That means 180 degrees. This is a semicircle. So if you want to go all the way around like that, you would make it a circle. Notice that if that's a semicircle, then also this is the this is the diameter. Because it's a semicircle, this is the diameter. And the length of that diameter is 10 root 3. So, how are we going to work this out? It says work, it out, work out the length of BC. Get the length of BC two different ways. Well, let's do it, work it out one way, then we do it another. So, because this is a tangent, because this is the diameter, or this is a radius from here to here, a tangent and a radius meet to form a 90 degree angle. So, PAC is 90 degrees. That means that we have two sides of the triangle. So C squared equals A squared plus B squared. So PB squared is 10 squared plus 10 root 3 squared. So PB squared is 100. Now what is 10 root 3? times 10 root 3. 10 times 10 is 100. Root 3 times root 3 is root 9, which is 3. So that's 300. So PB squared is 400. So PB, oh, I got a B, I'm going to make a B then. PB is plus or minus the square root of 400. So PB equals plus or minus 20. And we can't have a negative, so PB is 20. Now we want um, the length of CB. But CB, so PB is made up of PC plus CB. PB is 20. PC is 5, because we're given it. So 20 minus 5 is BC or CB is 15. So that's one way to get it. Now, how would you get it another way? Well, if you, we have a right angle here. So the other way is that if that's a right angle and that's a 10 and that's a 10 root 3, that's very similar if you think about it. That's N and that's n root 3, therefore this side here must be 2n. So if that's a 10, so that means that n is 10. Right here, this is 10 root 3, so this is 2n. So this is 2 times 10. So this side is 20. So that means that pb must be 20. And then you do this, and you get your 15. 
So that's without, so that's one way to do it with the Pythagorean. But if you notice that these two sides here are n and n root 3, this is a 2n, so that gives you 20 right away without just on the trig side. And you can figure out the 20 then by uh, 20 minus 5 is 15. So two different ways to do it. And that brings us to the end of this video. And again, if you like the video, click the like button. And if you want to be a subscriber to the channel, click the subscribe button. Visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. That's the content that's on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Just one word. Thank you for viewing my video. I hope the video helped you. Bye-bye.